Well, way back yonder, long time ago, in the days of antiquity, in the great Greek port of Alexandria, to the humongous library. There were 700,000 books, so we're told, but no videos or DVDs. <laughs> and those books have knowledge of the world embalmed on their crusty, musty, dusty leaves. <laughs> In the ruins of a palace where the gods once ruled high up on Olympus. Well, the little purple pony with wings of gold was the last living Pegasus. She was poor, she was lonely, but she liked to dance, and she yearned for attention and fame. So one fine day, she flew off to Alexandria, and at the library door, she sang, Do the... Pegasus Prince, gift of stickery a chance. Come on, dance a mashed potato on moldy books of Plato, then hypotenuse gifts like old Pythagoras do the Pegasus Prince. But the librarian said, Shh. I don't know why. Guess she was worried about singing and dancing in the library. Librarians. <laughs> Look here, right now. <laughs> Pegasus was stubborn and she wouldn't bow to archivistic ire. No, she galloped down the aisle singing her theme song to learn the patrons were inspired. Yes, those academic legged and pedantic fools followed her from hall to hall. And they rearranged the books and shelves to make room for a bibliophilic ball. <laughs> they danced the stoic Dino Zombie and the bathtub splash, Archimedes' famous step. And the Pisistrata swagger and the Euclid jive and the tricky icky Oedipus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> they did the cynic and the lighthouse and the hemlock to get yeah, and follows felt the groove. They were hopping, they were bopping, they were getting down, saying in purple taggy, we love you. Do the Pegasus friends, get your pickery a chance. Come on, dance a mashed potato, a moldy book of Plato, then have that news twist like old Pythagoras. Do the Pegasus Prince. But the librarian still said, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Librarians. <laughs>